Uh, so candid question times here. Um, some candid questions for you as to what constitutes woeful and shocking in times in terms of diversity and representation. And I, I, I honestly, I want you to put to one side, right, whatever your thoughts are on diversity and representation, right, and whether it's important or whether it isn't important. And we're not interested in diversity of opinion on this particular thing. We're talking about in the media. Now, personally, my view is that the most important thing is diversity of opinion, right? If it's on television, I'd rather every single face on television was that of a black woman, but you saw all the different opinions that are, that are, that are held within the United Kingdom, represented in the proportions in which they're held. For me, that would be closer to the gold standard than have all the right colours of faces and all the right kinds of genitalia, but have a significant skew in terms of political makeup. Right. That that's that would be, you know, the opinions are more important to me than, than those other factors. But that isn't to say those other factors aren't important. And let's just forget about how we feel about it. Let's just all go from the position that we want to see our society, the, the diversity of ethnicity and of gender and all that kind of jazz represented equally within the sphere of media. And the reason that I say that is Ofcom, which is like the sort of regulator come watchdog for television and radio, um, published a report that they'd made about a week ago with regard to the five main broadcasters in the United Kingdom. And I have the data here. I went to their website and got the data, having read some articles on it. And... That's really what I wanted to discuss that data because I, yeah, I, I've been, I think I'm quite on board with some of these things. You know, I'm, I'm a firm believer in treating people as individuals and, and treating it on a meritocratic level and, and judging applicants as you get them. You can't back engineer uh, what happens to children when they're four, five, six or seven years old. If the majority of people that are applying for your job as 18, 20 year old, 30 year olds are male, then everything else being equal, I'd expect more men to get jobs. If the majority of them are female, I expect more women to get jobs. Well, maybe it's a little bit different in media because we want to see this kind of representation because it's necessary for cultural reasons, okay? But what would you regard as shocking? If you held that perspective, what would you regard as shocking in terms of underrepresentation of women? What would you regard as woeful in terms of underrepresentation of black, Asian and minority ethnic people? Well, this was the article in The Guardian. Ofcom criticizes UK broadcasters for woeful lack of diversity. Sharon White, Ofcom chief executive. This is what she had to say. The information we have is shocking, shocking. There is some woeful progress, especially for senior women. I wasn't sure, and I'm still not quite sure whether she means women in senior roles or older women. Disabled people and people from a black, Asian and minority ethnic background. So then we got onto the statistics. And I'm expecting the statistics that are shown are going to be the most shocking statistics, right? And, I mean, maybe I shouldn't say this because maybe I'm prejudicing you. Maybe I should just give you the statistics first and maybe I'm doing it the wrong way round. But at the risk of doing that, I've because this is part of sort of lancing the boil for me, I was seriously fucking underwhelmed by how shocking these statistics were. And so what I thought was, before I show you the statistics, I'll go and have a look on the Ofcom's official press release because maybe... The, the statistics that The Guardian has focused on, even though it's the fucking Guardian, right, and you'd expect them to be right on board with this, right on message, maybe they've just chosen the wrong statistics. So I'm going to read you the statistics, the ones that Ofcom themselves, who are calling it woeful and shocking, these are the ones that they've chosen to highlight. And bear in mind, the stated goal here is the diversity in these five main broadcasters should represent the diversity in these categories that we find in the population as a whole in the United Kingdom. Let me read you the two that I found most underwhelming. Women are underrepresented 
Women account for 48% of employees across the five main broadcasters versus 51% of the wider UK population. Okay, 48%. You know, I'm reasonable with maths and 48% is not 51%. But is that shocking? Is I, I 25% I would have found shocking. That would have shocked me. It would have surprised me and I would have thought, yeah, we're a long way off there. But 48%, frankly, I was really kind of surprised how close it was uh, to hitting target. Ethnic minority employees are underrepresented. Ethnic minority employees make up 12%. Just 12% of employees across the five main broadcasters. Just 12%, but... Lower than the UK population average of 14%. 14%. 12% versus 14%. Come on, right? We're not actually that far off, are we? 12% versus 14%. And I can tell you that the UK population average of 14% has been rounded up to 13%. Very recently, it was being rounded down to 13%. So it must only be just over 135 so we're talking about a 1.5% gap there. Um, I don't know. I, it kind of depresses me, you know. I don't mind things being called shocking and woeful when they're shocking and woeful. But when things are getting somewhere near the stated goal, then I don't expect them to be regarded as woeful and shocking. And when they are still regarded as woeful and shocking. I start to smell a little bit of a rat. Something doesn't smell quite right about it. Like maybe they're not really the targets. Like maybe the real target is over-representation. That the, that the individuals involved won't actually be happy until those groups are statistically significantly over-represented. Maybe that's my bigotry and prejudice or something like that. But I want to read you this. The BBC's role, this is on the Ofcom report, bear in mind the BBC has a kind of special status. It's the largest broadcaster in the United Kingdom, one of the largest broadcasters in the world. It is state funded. If you own a television in the United Kingdom, you have to pay a license fee. You have to pay whether you watch the BBC or not. That's why the BBC doesn't have adverts within its programmes. That's why, frankly, the BBC can make programmes that otherwise it wouldn't be able to make. Highbrow, quality programming that doesn't appeal to the lowest common denominator. Of course, the, the counter-argument is people say, well, why should I pay for the BBC when I'm not interested in the BBC? They're not making the kind of shite that I like to watch. So there are two sides to that particular coin. But this is what was said. But I just want you to realise that the BBC, the status of the BBC, means that it's held more to the standard of a public body, uh, like, a, like a local authority or something like that, uh, than the other broadcasters. The BBC's role, this is what Ofcom says, as the UK's largest broadcaster, the BBC's position on diversity is likely to have a disproportionate effect on the wider industry. The BBC should be leading the way. But today's report shows its performance on most characteristics is behind that of Channel 4. Channel 4 is the young, fucking trendy channel. OK, of, of the main broadcasters and has been since its inception. So it doesn't surprise me that it has a bit of a different demographic in terms of who it employs and who it shows on TV. But it's behind that of Channel 4. It's lagging. Channel 4 is doing better, better than the BBC. That is what Ofcom is telling us. OK, so what does better look like? Well, let's have a look at the data and see what better looks like. So in terms of gender balance... Women are underrepresented on the BBC. 47% of women employed, uh, uh, of those employed by the BBC are female uh, versus 51%. So underrepresented by 4%. On Channel 4, it's men that are underrepresented, but not by 4%. They're underrepresented by 8%. The disparity is twice as large on Channel 4. Uh, in terms of equal representation relative to proportions in society on Channel 4 that it is on BBC, on this the biggest metric of all, the one that they're majoring on, and yet according to Ofcom, Channel 4 are doing better. 
with regard to black, Asian and minority ethnic, 13% on the BBC versus 14% in the UK population. That's a fucking fail as far as Ofcom is concerned. It's shocking. It's woeful is what it is that it should be underrepresented by that 1% figure. Channel 4, 18%. Black, Asian and minority ethnic people are overrepresented on Channel 4 in their employment by 4%. And as far as Ofcom is concerned, that is better than the BBC's position of being within 1% of equal representation. I'm sure you can see now where that smelling of a rat kind of comes from. That sort of smelling of disingenu disingenuity comes from with regards to this. The claim that what we're just looking for is, is perfect statistical representation. If that is the case... How come Channel 4 isn't making a right fuck up of this? If what the BBC is doing is woeful and shocking in these regards, surely Channel 4 is doubly so. Really, really puzzled by this and disappointed by the rhetoric that's being used. If Ofcom had released this report and said, you know what, there's a bit of a mixed picture here, we're seeing some differences between broadcasters because they have different demographics, they have different target audiences, and maybe the BBC can do a little bit better on these, maybe Channel 4 could do a little bit better on these, if we're aiming for perfect representation. I'd have bought that, right? I'd have bought that. Even if I'm not entirely convinced that we need to go quite this far down the rabbit hole. But to describe this as woeful and shocking is frankly, as far as I'm concerned, the bit that is woeful and shocking. Interested to know what you think about these stats and how they've been portrayed. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.